So today we're using hair from HJB Beauty. I have three bundles of 24 inch in their natural wavy and an 18 inch closure. This is one of my favorite hair companies. They have great hair and I really love their um, curly hair and wavy hair and I've used their um, water wave hair before. So their hair is really, really good. It lasts a long time and it's very reasonably priced. Um, so today we're going to do a traditional sew in with a closure since a lot of you have been asking me to do more sewing videos. So we're going to do a sew in with a closure today. I've already bleached the knots on the closure. Um, it came with a middle part and they already plucked the part. So I'll see once I put it in if I want to pluck the part a little bit more. I'm going to start with a part in the middle because she's going to wear a middle part and I'm just going to braid them downwards. The braids in the front are going to be the most important because this is going to ensure that your closure is going to be flat. I probably will add a little bit of braiding hair because her hair is a little bit uh, shorter. Um, the braids are not going to be like extra tiny because my hands are old, I have a carpal tunnel, so I cannot do a million braids. And you do not need a million braids to have a strong foundation in a sewing. They just need to be tight and medium size. They don't have to be extra tiny. That doesn't always mean that's a great sewing, but you do need to have a nice foundation. Um, so definitely the braids around the perimeter need to be tight and right, and then I'm gonna sew a net on top of that. So I'm definitely going to leave some hair on the edges because she wants baby hair. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll leave some hair out around the edges. Um, not a whole lot. This braid, I'm not going to sew all the way down because if your client ever comes back and they want to get their closure tightened you're going to take this braid out and that braid out and then rebraid it and tighten your closure up Okay, so these two on the um, outside, I'm going to sew it in, but I'm going to sew it kind of up because you want it to be underneath your closure. So when you take the closure off and put it back on, when you're, re, um, you know, putting the closure back down, um, you can just easily um, take it off. I mean, undo the braid and redo it again and sew it back. 
So I'm using just regular thread to sew the hair on. Um, but when I sew the front of the closure down, I'm going to use one needle with nylon thread because nylon thread is thinner um, and the regular thread is a little bit thicker. So since the nylon thread is thinner, it's going to um, help the closure in the front not look bulky. So when you're making your knot with your nylon thread, make sure you cut the string off as close as possible so the string just don't be sticking outside of the front. So since it's really thin, it's going to work out better um, with sewing the closure down. So make sure you cut the lace off the front of the closure too. I like to sew the closures now. Um, they last a little bit longer than gluing them down. So when you're sewing the closure on, like I said, make sure you got it lined up in the middle. I'm gonna start from the middle and sew over. And this is going to ensure that your closure is tight. Now if you want to be able to like push your closure back and all that like that without seeing the thread, you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to glue it down. But I definitely like to sew down the front so when you, if you do touch your hair, like your closure is not like sliding back. So. Make sure that your closure is lined up in the front and then you want to start from the middle and the back and sew down and around on the sides too. Alright, so I'm just going to straighten out this part in the middle because it's a little crooked once I fold it over. So. You want to have the part line up with the part that she has in her head because you're going to be able to see the scalp so it looks natural. And if your closure needs a little bit more plucking, just pluck it. I ain't really going too much for that wet look. So I'm gonna kind of be way the top the closure. And spray some water on the bottom. It's a 
some crimp in there. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get this from? Oh, oh so. So I'd be having everything. Okay, so make sure you guys check out HJ Weave Beauty and purchase some of that natural wavy hair. It's so pretty and it's such good quality hair. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Filthy Rich Tresses and like my Facebook page. Like and subscribe to my channel and leave a question or comment. Thank you for watching.